Welcome to the May 2020 Daily Energizer Workout. My name's Dale McLean and let's get ourselves going. So we'll start with the warm up. That'll be star jumps to start with, then stretching. We'll do a cool down as well. Then we go into the four point hip extension, 60 seconds. 60 seconds of boxing, holding two water bottles. And finally, shoulder presses for 60 seconds. We'll do two sets of each exercise, one straight after the other without rest. Let's get started. So first one we'll do this warm up will be star jumps. Just go from side to side to get the body warmed up. Now we'll move into chest stretch for about six to 10 seconds. Hold that stretch there and stick your arms back, palm forward, then we move into the middle back stretch, which will last for approximately 6 to 10 seconds. Round your upper back. Hold it there, move into the stretch all the time. Now we'll move into rotations. Standing twists. That rotates, stretches the abdominal region, your obliques. Good dynamic workout this. Next one we move into is a straight legged deadlift. Keep your legs nice and straight. This will stretch the hamstrings. Back, head in a line and move down. Keep your feet pointing the same direction. And keep moving into the stretch for about 10 seconds. The next one you're gonna to go to is the thigh stretch. So you're gonna just pick up your foot your knee should be in line with the other leg and the knee should be close to the other knee. Keep your body upright and pull on gently on your foot till you feel the stretch in your thigh. Again, you hold it for about 10 seconds. Now we're going to move on to the adductor stretch, so one foot pointing 45 degrees out, the other one pointing reasonably straight, bend one knee, keep the other leg straight, and you'll feel this in the inner thigh at your groin area. Stick your bum right out when you do it, make sure your knees don't come past your toes. And that's us. So we're going to get straight into the exercises here. Go on the floor, four point knee extensions, 60 seconds, here we go. So we'll turn it, one hand goes up, the other leg straightens out. Keep your tummy nice and tight, back in a good line, and keep moving. Great for working the hamstrings, working the glutes, and it gets the core activated as well. Keep that tummy nice and tight while you do this. Keep it going. So that, keep it going. Balance is always the issue. Fantastic. Nearly there, and that is you done. Now we're on to boxing with weights. So you hold this at shoulder level and alternately punch forward. When I say punch, don't jar your arm into the air. That does some could do some damage to your joints, so it's best just to have it nice and easily in and out, in and out. So if you're pushing, pulling the lever. And keep it going, this is a good burn. This is a burn to the shoulders, as much as it is the chest and the arms, but you're gonna feel this more in the heart. The longer the duration of the exercise that you can manage, the more it turns into a endurance exercise, a cardiovascular exercise as well. We're nearly there for the last eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, two, one, you're done. Now just stay where you are and alternately do the exact same thing but above your head. Straight up, straight down. Your arms are gonna be on fire by the end of this exercise. Keep it moving. Lovely. Remember you've got another set to do. 
and then you can move on to the cool down. Keep this moving. It's great for all the shoulder muscles as well. Fantastic. Now you're on to the last 26. This is the killer bit. If you do one set, you're perfectly fine just to do one set of this. If you manage two, that's fantastic. And you're on to the last five seconds. And that's us. Now we're going on to the cool down stretches. So we'll start with the chest, arm at shoulder level, on some bit of resistance like the door. I'm using a fence here, palm facing forward and twist your body or move your body around until you feel the stretch. You'll feel it on the chest, but you'll more feel it in the actual joint itself with this type of stretch. That's perfectly natural, as long as it isn't an unbearable pain. I enjoy this type of stretch. Just because I'm a lot of times in front of a TV screen or I'm in front of a computer doing work is what I am right now, speaking to you, and you can be slightly hunched and this opens up the chest. Remember, we're going to do this in the opposite side. If you do it for about 30 seconds each, that's fantastic. And we'll keep this going. Well done, folks. And keep that going. Now we're going to move on. What we're going to move on to is the hamstring. So you're going to this time get on the floor, leg stretched out, toes foot up, move into that stretch. And remember again, as we keep saying, keep your back in a line. Try not to round your upper back. Hold it again for about 30 seconds each leg. On the cool downs, always longer. Hamstrings are another important muscle to be stretched out. We do find that the hamstrings, I find the hamstrings can be tight with a lot of people, including myself, and again, that's a postural thing. We're doing a lot of sitting, maybe a lot of sitting at a car, sitting at a desk. which is for the adductors. So get yourself up against the wall is what I'm doing. Bring your feet together and you just push gently in your inner thigh until you feel the stretch. Hold it there for about 30 seconds in total, moving into the stretch every 10 seconds, say. Now we're coming on to the last few seconds and that's us done. Thank you very much folks for getting involved and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment and share and I will see you for the next time. Stay safe folks.